So I'm in my new studio, which is great. Um, it's a much bigger space, so I'm very pleased about that. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying to do some new paintings in here and some big paintings that I've just started uh, working on this week. Um, makes my paintings that I was doing look a bit small, so <laughs> maybe I'll do some bigger work now. I've got a bit more space to uh, throw the paint around. I wanted to have a um, I was thinking recently about photography and uh, I take quite a lot of photographs um, but I don't use them in my work so much and um, it's not really because I'm, I'm not anti-photography or anything like that I love taking photographs but for some reason I don't I don't really feel like they, they don't really impact in my work I don't use them in my work I work directly from them because I like to spend time sitting in front of uh, the landscape spend time soaking in the atmosphere and I, I think a lot of times when people think about working from photographs, they might turn up somewhere, um, see a fantastic view, whip out the iPhone, take a picture, just take a picture like that. And when you start looking at a photograph that you've taken of a landscape and thinking about painting from it, what you might end up with is not really a painting of a landscape, but a painting of a photograph and that's not really the same thing and doesn't really have the same kind of interest or emotional impact, uh, I don't think, anyway. So I've been thinking about this quite a lot recently because I do take a lot of photographs and I really enjoy taking photos. It's, uh, it's just another way of making images for me, but I don't really, like I said, I don't really work from them. Um, but I'm gonna do this workshop in December, which is all about trying to find ways of working creatively with photographs that you take. I think the main drive behind that is to try and actually take the photographs pur purposefully um, while the photos are being taken, actually thinking about how you might use them in paintings to inspire your work and find interesting creative ways of making interesting paintings but using a combination of photography and memory and experience as the inspiration for the paintings rather than just looking at a, a snapshot you might have taken on your phone um, which doesn't really have that kind of impact that you might want as a source material for uh, for a painting. So I think what it comes down to no matter what your source material is is actually spending time in the landscape. So. I was out um, at Lumsdale Waterfalls, which is a fantastic location um, that I painted from before and sketched at quite a lot. Um, but I was out there uh, earlier in the week and I was taking some photos um, just as a, as a way of um, putting together this idea for the workshop. And it occurred to me really what I was doing there was I was actually spending time. I was actually spending time at that location. I didn't just turn up, snap a couple of photos and then leave again. I was there for, you know, a couple of hours wandering around, exploring. It's a really interesting location. It's really exciting. It's got lots of um, movement with the water. There's cascading waterfalls everywhere. There's a lot of, it's an old um, industrial site. So there's lots of um, dilapidated um, old buildings um, and it's all overgrown um, it's just you know just a really kind of vibrant interesting place I think it's a very rich kind of uh, inspirational environment for making paintings from and I did do uh, a few paintings in my last exhibition that were based on sketches that I'd done there. Um, so like I was saying it's, I think it's all about time it's about spending time at a place thinking about it wandering around whether you're sketching or taking photographs or whatever you're doing you need to actually spend that time 
letting it soak in and see that place for what it is, explore it, uh, rather than just focusing on the first thing that you spot. I think this happens quite a lot in uh, the sketching that I do as well. Um, that when you turn up somewhere, uh, it can be quite a spectacular landscape, whether it's waterfalls or something a bit more sort of open and panoramic. You, you turn up somewhere and you look at it and immediately you think, wow, that's, that's a really exciting landscape. I must be able to make something interesting out of that. And, and as you start sketching from it, that thing that you first saw that, that drew you to it isn't always the, the thing that you're really interested in. I'm really interested when I'm painting. It might be something a bit closer up. Um, it might be a texture, it might be some shapes or colours. It's not necessarily the first thing that you see. So through the process of drawing and really the process of looking, you actually start to discover what is interesting about a particular place for yourself. And I think it's the same with the photography. You turn up somewhere and you start taking, you know, if you just take a picture or a couple of pictures because suddenly you see something and go, right, I'm going to I'm going to take a picture of that and that'll make a great painting. That isn't necessarily the most interesting thing about that location for you. Uh, it's only through spending time somewhere and exploring it that you really um, discover for yourself what interests you about that particular place or that particular environment. And it might just be something fleeting like a time of day. Um, and you can't really predict that and you, you just have to go through it, you have to explore it. So that's really what I think this workshop's going to be about. Um, it's about going on a kind of inspirational photo walk, basically. Spend two, three hours just wandering around, uh, taking lots of interesting images. No reason not to have a sketchbook with you as well. Um, I think that'd be really useful just for making notes, maybe doing quick sketches. It's going to be in the winter, so that's, uh, it's one of those things. It's, um, you know, it's not so easy to sit out. I mean, when you're walking around um, in the winter, it doesn't really matter because you're staying warm. Um, it's when you're sitting down for a prolonged period of time, that's when you start to get cold. So uh, I think the idea behind taking a kind of inspirational photography walk and working from those images, um, finding ways of working creatively from those images back at the studio. So that's gonna be a process of printing them out uh, looking at them on an uh, iPad or screen or um, whatever we have with us, even if it's just looking at them on the phone. It's working um, with those images in the same way as you would if you were sitting in front of the landscape. So it'd be sketching and collaging and all that kind of stuff and trying to find ways into the images to find interesting ways of making exciting paintings from those images. So I think that's going to be quite an exciting thing to do and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be in December, in the first week of December, uh, at Lumsdale Waterfalls, which is near Matlock in Derbyshire. Um, I'll put the details on my website and post a link to it below, so hopefully I might see some of you there. Okay, thanks a lot.